this is what I actually wanted to ask you about because Natasha and I have been, I, uh, she, Natasha's been roasting me about, um, okay, I'm 42. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. That is so brave. Thank you. Well, you admitted that you were a homosexual. I wanted to tell yeah. you that I am. Mine I, Mine is kind of on the up. Being 42 is still very <laughs> much, I think, on Moshe's, the outs. Moshe's very insecure about it. Well, there are certain... Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to do a bit about it? No, no, no. There's just certain <laughs> states in this country that won't even allow 42 year olds to yeah. walk around. Yeah. And so Are you I, about to talk about your new hobby? Well, that's oh what I wanted God. to get Caleb's hot take on, right? <laughs> so I'm I'm 42. You know, when I was um young in the nineties, I was like a I was a rave DJ. Oh my god. Right? Thank you. Can, and, can uh, I tell can I say my take right now? If Well, if, I haven't even told the thing. Go ahead. What what's your take? I just, I can't believe you're talking about this again. Well, I thought Caleb could be like a good kind of neutral <laughs> okay, party. Okay, yeah, see what he thinks. To just see. See what he thinks, honey. Okay, so I was a rave DJ. I was a rave promoter. And then I became a comedian. I've been in comedy like 20 years now. Now, where, I, hold on. So where were you rave DJing at? This is in the San, Bay? San Francisco okay, area. Cool. Yeah, Oakland and San Francisco. Gotcha. Uh, I quit DJing. I, I walked away from it. And uh, now I'm writing a book, uh, and I'm writing a, a second memoir uh, through the lens of the different uh, subcultures I've been a part of. Why don't you skip to the good part? Anyway, I wrote, I wrote the rave chapter, and I got kind of like, you know what? I started thinking, it might be kind of cool, just as a hobby, if I were to buy a couple of turntables or a <laughs> DJ controller, and just kind of like, for as a hobby, start DJing again. Now, I told my wife, Natasha here, she... I said, you cannot tell me that seriously. Right. <laughs> Ever. I'm just never going to meet that without laughter. Wasn't a supportive Actually, it's not laughter. It's more just disdain. It, it might end the, our marriage. You're right. You, oh, you guys are giving extremely crumbling marriage vibes. <laughs> I will say this is fucking horrifying to behold. People can't tell probably through the camera, but it is not feeling well, good. Well, actually, Caleb, you just told on yourself, we just found out that you're not a listener to this podcast, okay? Because if you'd been listening, you would have known the crumbling vibes that are going on for I listened to a little. Uh, I, over I, know, a year. I know enough to know that you're using the, 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 the one floss things on all uh, your teeth. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm around the pod. Don't you worry about me. No, when Moshe told me he wanted to start getting into DJing again, seriously, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm done with the pandemic. You know, like <laughs> we just need to get out of the house. He doesn't need a home studio, a home DJing it's studio. It's a stone too far. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you know, I'm willing to risk the COVID infection if <laughs> yeah. it means. I'm, I'm actually, I'm ready to, I'm, this is a quote I found. Okay. I'm ready to prioritize the living of life over the minimizing of mortality. That's, but that's what I'm saying. I want a DJ no, no, to live life. Go out, no, 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 no. Go out and da go to a dance party, honey. We're not doing He'll that. He'll be in at house. a dance party. He'll be DJing the dance party. Listen. No, he wants to do it at the house and make mixtapes. Oh, that's all you want out of this? I just want like a meditation <laughs> form, kind of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, there's not even a social component. This I'm is not trying to become <laughs> a like a get it gigs. Uh, I was ready to hire you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this will be fun. <laughs> I got a party coming up. We need a DJ. DJ midlife crisis. Come on. Caleb, do you think that's like lame? Do do I think it is lame for you to get into DJing at the age of forty two? As a he's got a successful career and he has like so many things he's working on that he doesn't have the bandwidth for it. But he wants to get into DJing. No, I listen. First of all, let me clarify. I'm not getting into DJing. I used to be. Yeah. I used to DJ. I'm yeah. getting when I'm, you were fourteen. I'm revitalizing an old hobby, an old passion, even. I think that there, it, it will be very interesting to see whether it looks desperate or cool. <laughs> I, it could go, it could go either way, uh -huh. and I think we'll just have to see. Yeah, it's obviously going to be a little bit of both. The fact that you even put it into those dichotomous terms means that your first instinct is yikes, desperate. No, I think look when anybody who's successful at something starts because you see this a lot, right? Like good good comics being like, I'm painting now, and it's like, what's going? There's a malevolent energy to that a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they're self-aware about it, if you make enough jokes about it, I feel like maybe the DJ thing turns out cool. You're saying I'm basically like one of these comedians from the generation before me who plays electric guitar now. You want, no, I'm not saying you're like that. I'm saying there's a possibility we're we're inching towards that, I mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you're doing it in the house, I think, Natasha, you're objecting to the wrong parts. Doing it in the house is probably the thing that saves this. I, I get what you're saying, Kayla, but I don't like how those like DJ stands look. 
We, oh, this is aesthetic for you. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is. <laughs> yeah. It's a like, beautiful house. I can see. Well, I don't want to walk in on him like doing it. You know, like it's bad enough walking in on him doing the um, Oculus exercising, like karate <laughs> chopping with Oculus on. <laughs> But like, and like all sweating in his underwear, but then like walking into him also maybe DJing in his underwear. Like, I just don't know if I could, mm. s- if, if our marriage could sustain that. Caleb, I feel like you kind of are like, you're being nice because you're at my house. And <laughs> no, and that, I and would d- never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a nice, I think I'm very fair and okay. I'm trying to keep it real with you. I just feel like it could be kind of cool. Like I get, it's Why a, don't you start meditating? Do you need like a mantra? It is meditation. For me. Oh, Moshe. I, oh, I lost you? <laughs> I, lost I don't you? know. I don't know about that. It is meditating. Well, well, okay. What is meditation? I'm never, I've never been very good at meditating. What is meditation other than a something that you do in order to turn your brain off? Right? I thought that's what surfing was for you. Surfing is, a part, is that for me? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And you surf like five times a week. Yeah, I'm trying to... So you want to also DJ? I want to surf the 4-4 four, four beats of, um, of Disco House. Caleb, I think you guys have had a beautiful marriage. <laughs> yeah, I think look, you've got a beautiful kid out of it. The dogs are wonderful. I think you know, R- risk it. Wrap it up. I wrap it up. <laughs> Get out while the getting's good. <laughs> move on. It would be really sad if I bought a DJ controller. I move it in and I see that you're packing in the other room. I'm like, honey, where are you going? And I'm helping her pack. Like, yeah. Why is Caleb here? I'm Why part of it. You've got like a, a big rig moving truck dude, with your face on it. Like you want a moving thing? That's your DJing, right? I'm strapping on one of those back things. Yeah, I move. Hey, it's Moshe. Thank you for watching this highlight of the greatest podcast that's ever been recorded. The Endless Honeymoon Podcast. If you want more, click here, right here to subscribe. And then you'll become a part of our fucking family, man.